Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara's running around here somewhere, and today we are talking about these amazing Hanks by Brandy LeJour. Now, I will link her below, and I'm going to talk about what Hanks are good for, the uses, why you should carry one, and the quality of these ones. I brought these up in my live. And the problem with the live is the, the video quality is not that good. So I wanted to show these off a little bit better. Now she does make different sizes. Like this is a smaller one, nice and compact. If you like smaller Hanks, I like both sizes because um, sometimes, you know, depending on what you're wearing or the situation, the little ones sometimes work out better. So if you look at the stitching and the quality of the stitching, it's amazing quality and then each one of these cards says the materials on the back um what they're made of and the size so some of these designs are just so awesome like this one i love this it almost looks like a tattoo i love tattoos so this is just awesome to me and then the back side is a flannel the stitching really really cool like the quality of these are just amazing. Now there's different hanks for different purposes. Um, like I have some that I use specifically for sharpening for my knife sharpening rag um, because they don't they don't leave lint and stuff. Um, they're usually made of microfiber. Then there's the kind that you want to carry in your pocket. Then um, for like when you're getting dirty or working. And then there's the ones that are specifically for your nicer outfits. The ones that, um, you see, I already had it open. The ones that you don't really get dirty, but you use them for other things. Now, what are Hanks good for? So I can tell you a ton of things, but like one thing is, is wiping your lenses off. You know, we are in a camera um, day and age where people walk around with cameras, you got your phones, you can wipe the lens of your, your camera off. You can wipe your, um, the lens of your, your phone off, mirrors, stuff like that. Then um, there's also things like, uh, like say something's hot you know and you need to grab it you can use this to insulate your hand or something cold uh, maybe something slippery and wet and you need some texture you can use it to, to give yourself some grip around something i use them all the time for stuff like that um and then there's like the little things like you know for obviously wiping something off uh, maybe your knife you know if you use your knife during the day you can take your hank and constantly clean it off as you use it and um you know then just machine wash it throw it in the washing machine and uh and wash it and another thing is like um say if you need to hit something you know and you need some padding in between you can use this to put it on top and then hit it with a hammer or some type of object and it'll stop it from scratching the surface of that thing um, there's so many different reasons why these things come in hand and then once you start carrying one you realize how often you use them what's up can i say the female reasons that you didn't include yeah I, I'm, I'm not done so go ahead yeah so a uh, one that you may not think of um if you're not a female is um if you wear makeup um at all and you have any type of sweat on your face or maybe even tears Somebody makes you upset. Oh, um, wow. You just made me sound like a piece of crap. <laughs> no, I just feel like it's whatever. Like, They're taking have, it like Jared's an ass. <laughs> you might have tears because the wind blows in your eyes. That happens to me all the time. Yeah, you know, that's also another thing. You can cover your face with and these. And when you have makeup on, you can't just, like the luxury of a guy, you can't just wipe across your eye. And oh, it's I see what you're saying. I, any If your face is wet, right, I see. I see what you're saying. under your eyes so you don't right. ruin your makeup. So your makeup doesn't run. I see. So... Um, she does make these smaller ones fitting in the girls' pockets already. But, but they also were great for guys. Because I like the small ones, yeah, too. Yeah, no, no, I know. But it's it's really, really good for that reason um, because they're totally washable. So if you get a little makeup on there, it's no big deal. It keeps you not looking crazy. Um, one of the other things I was going to say um, is just in general having that thing there. I know you mentioned, like, having it for... Um, condensation on a, a cup or you know anything yeah, like yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Cold things, to... hot things, ins anything to be insulated between you and that thing. Yeah, um, they also work great um, just to have um, 
just in your purse something because one advantage we have as females yes we have small pockets but we do have giant purses so being able to just keep one in your purse for all the various reasons you know they also work great um, as like an organizer like in your purse like maybe you want to um, instead of doing like a standard like knife um, EDC roll up in there yep. you can kind of do like you can roll your stuff now, up in there all the guys plug your ears but you can definitely like hide a tampon in there if you don't want to walk to the bathroom with that in or your other hand. things like I don't know if you guys there's a lot of reasons for if you guys girl, seen though. my other videos my old videos on these I would stuff stuff in here so whatever I wanted to carry in my pocket and then I would roll it up and take a rubber band and rubber band it around and I'd throw it in my pocket so all my little EDC things I didn't want scratching other things in my pocket these work great for they can insulate your pocket from those things scratching other items also you know a lot of people like to do photography and when you do photography just like right now before i started this video i had to wipe my lens off and be from fingerprints and stuff like that from me holding my phone because i film on my phone so things like that i mean um there's so so many things that these things are great for i mean I, the list goes on and on but even like the mirror of your car wiping the mirrors off um like i said before about slippery things getting a grip on something um there's there's so so many things if you have a child you know um you know wiping something off of their face or cleaning up a spill you know like i said these are machine washable so you can always just take them home and wash them and there's all different versions so you can get like your your one for work right that's the one you get greasy that's the one you get dirty and then you have your nicer one you know that you don't mind getting dirty but it's not one you want to get stained up there, or you do it doesn't matter like i said i've got a bunch of them and i got one that i have to wash once a week because i use it for sharpening so it gets so filthy my um my favorite use i would have to say though is um on the soft side it would be it's really nice to have in your pocket and to pull out for a little i know you can't see me but a dab you know on the uh, forehead if you're doing some hard work and you right, get that sweating, little yeah, sweat yeah. Um, stop it from getting in your eyes that's a huge um, thing I take a medicine that has a side effect of face sweating in particular don't sweat anywhere else but my forehead will get damp quicker than most people's will so for me having that soft side yeah, that slightly absorbent sure. side you know um, that, that's a huge thing and like you said you know from sweating so workers when you're working it's a hot day outside whatever you can literally damp the sweat off of your forehead um sometimes you need to cough and you're gonna cough around people you know little things like that and we're in the, the i don't want to ah, i'm not even gonna go there but there's so many things you can use them for um and it just folds right up, fits right in your back pocket. You don't even know it's there until you need it. These bigger ones are a little bigger in the pocket, but they still work great inside the pocket. You'll see how this thing folds up. And so it's basically like a big wallet. And this thing goes right in your back pocket or front pocket. And like I said, you can fold things up inside there and insulate it from, you know, poking you in the leg or from scratching other things in your pockets. There's so, so many things. And the quality of these ones, they're, they're so tough. And the stitching is done so good on them. And then they just look good too. So like, um, this is another thing. And this isn't like a, a use thing. But a lot of people like to uh, post put cool pictures on Instagram. They do really good in pictures. Uh, you know, you drop your wallet there. You put your knife there. You know, maybe your, um, your flashlight. Whatever you carry in your pockets. Take a nice little snapshot outside in the shade. I mean, you can get some really cool pictures with these things. I know that's not functional, but it's still something that, that's really cool because it's a functional tool, just like people taking pictures of their knives. You know, like, yeah, it looks cool in the picture, but it's also a very versatile, useful tool. So, you know, um, 
But yeah, like I said, after, it's kind of like a pocket knife, right? After you, you've had one and you, you see how much you're going to use it, you know, from the little things of picking your nails and cleaning a surface off and cutting a package open, removing some tape, you know, whatever, taking stickers off of things, whatever you use your knives for, you realize the same thing about these, how useful they are. Look at that titty shot. How useful they are. I don't know why I fold it up that way, but it's actually kind of a cool way to fold it up, right? Um, and Brandy LeJour has so many different designs. Go check her out. The link is below. Check it out. Go check out what she's got. And if you're going to order some Hanks, you might as well order a good quality one because the quality is going to decide of how long it lasts. So let's say it's a few dollars more, which I'm not saying that these are. I'm just saying like say if it's a couple dollars more, a couple dollars more for the good quality stitching. These are made in the USA. They're, I mean, what more could you ask for? Like, or you can just, or you can just go to Ace Hardware and just grab a whole bunch of rags and that are going to come apart some of them are really good quality but these are more for for style too you know you have style and you know kind of like a knife like you can go to ace hardware and get a knife too right or you can order and buy a good quality knife i mean it's up to you the other thing is is that brandy um you know she calls the business lajor's emporium she's just started this and um It'd be really cool if you guys could take the time, even if you're not desperate for a Hank right now, but maybe you like Hanks, to take the time to support someone who's trying to start something That's new. That's true, a USA and company. It's a small business. Um, you know, she's got a family. You know, I know everyone does, but it's just the point of taking the time to, you know, support. And it's not like we're asking you to donate. You give her your money, you get an amazing Hank back. Right. So, That's a very um, good point. You know, if you're in the market, even slightly for a Hank, or you know you will be in the future, if you could take your time to check her out particularly, we would really appreciate that. She's been so cool sending us stuff. And and we are going to be giving one of these away to one of you guys too. So yep. um, we'll try to get her product out there. Um, we also have a couple more from before when she sent us some. So um, I got one actually right here. Um, here's another one of her designs. And I mean, look at this stitching work. This is one we've already had and been using. Look at how good it's just holding up. I mean, this thing is still amazing quality. It's been washed. I mean, this thing, amazing quality, guys. You guys need a hank in your life. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to push a product or anything like that. If this is something that you're not into, you're not into it. But like she said, if you are even somewhat in the market, think about somebody that is, you know, making them in the USA and trying to start a business and, you know, could really use your support. So there you guys go. I am going to link her below. So you don't even have to type this in. Just scroll down in the description and click her link. Go subscribe. You might, you, you might not want one now, but you might want one in the future. Peace.